y'all so today we're going to be making a crock pot chicken and dumplings and when i'm telling you this tastes exactly like the cracker barrel chicken and dumplings i'm not even joking if you've never had it i'm so sorry for you but yeah this stuff is amazing so right here i have a chicken breast it is skinless it is not boneless but that's okay because when it cooks in the crock pot it's going to fall off the bone so just to save a little bit of money that's one way that you can um do that is by buying your chicken on the bone yes you're paying more per pound because it is bone but you're still paying a lower price and chicken is something that you can easily stretch so it's not even that big of a deal um also i have two cans of cream of chicken soup and then to season my chicken i have some sea salt some black pepper and then this is turkey seasoning but it's really like poultry seasoning like you can use pretty much that on any type of poultry so I wasn't gonna actually like buy the one that says poultry seasoning because I have this leftover from what Thanksgiving last year and yeah it's got it's gotta go it's gotta go it doesn't expire till 2023 but still it's gotta go so I'm gonna use that um first thing I'm gonna do is oh and I have chicken bouillon cubes these are slightly bigger than the ones I normally buy so there's that um i'm going to get my cream of chicken in the crock pot as well as my chicken bouillon cubes with four cups of water and then i will add the chicken and the seasonings Okay, so that's all in the crock pot. I'm just kind of stirring it to combine it a little bit. And again, like every other recipe that I use, um, chicken bouillon cubes, you can use chicken broth instead. I just find it cheaper to use the um, cubes. And it's also better to store because it's not as bulky as like actual cans or boxes of chicken broth. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my chicken. Okay, I know you can't see it because it kind of like drowned in there, but now I'm seasoning just a little bit of salt and the black pepper. And my poultry seasoning. That should be good. I don't measure seasonings, guys, so I'm sorry. I would say probably about a tablespoon of this and then just like I don't know, a teaspoon of salt and pepper. All right, that should be good. So I'm going to, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and cook this on low for five hours and then I will be back to shred the okay, chicken. Okay y'all, so my chicken is about to be shredded but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings. So I have some just Bisquick um, buttermilk biscuit mix and then I'm just gonna make it as package directions. Then I'm going to roll it out onto a floured surface and cover, cover? My bad. Cut <laughs> it into pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
right, so my dumplings are in there, and as you saw, I shredded up my chicken and got it off the bone. Yes, I use my scissors <laughs> again. No, I don't care how lazy anybody wants to call me. Um, I'm going to put my pot back on, and this is just going to cook up another hour, maybe hour and a half, depending on how I feel. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, the flour from the dumplings that I tossed it in, not necessarily the dumpling itself, but the flour that I tossed it in as I was cutting it, is what will help thicken up that broth. So you don't have to add anything in there to thicken it up because the flour will come off of the dumplings and thicken that up for you. So I'm gonna let this sit and then I'll be back here when it's done. Okay, y'all, it has been an hour and a half and this is finished. This is how it looks. So you basically just go in and you kind of just break apart those dumplings. Because it's been sitting there, it's just going to naturally clump up Crump. <laughs> naturally clump up and so you're just gonna mix it and kind of break those dumplings apart as you go and yeah it's ready to serve all right guys and this is how everything looks these are the kids bowls and I know you probably can't tell because it is a little bit much gravy but um there is mashed potatoes underneath I like to give that to them because it just fills them up better to do it that way but this is my crock pot chicken and dumplings and i hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe let me know if you give it a try and i will see you guys in the next video bye everybody